Hi, I'm here today with the Bobcat E10 mini excavator. This excavator only weighs about 2,600 pounds and the tracks will retract down to 29 inches and up to 43 inches when expanded. So it's great for getting in really tight spots. But today I'm going to give you a little overview of the controls of the E10, show you how this machine works. So we'll start with fueling it up. Here's the standard diesel fuel cap. It locks, so you have to put the key in it to unlock it, to open it up. It doesn't hold very much fuel, but this thing uses so little fuel that it'll run for hours and hours without refilling. Here's the key to start. This is to warm up the glow plugs and turn it the opposite way to start. As on all modern excavators, you have a safety device, which the uh, controls have to be down and locked in position for anything to work. Without this, both of these armrests down and locked, nothing will operate on the machine. So on the console, we have a switch here. This is a light switch uh, for a light on the boom. This switch is a toggle switch when in this position, it controls the blade in conjunction with this lever. So when you pull the lever back, the blade goes up. When you push the lever forward, the blade goes down. But this switch has to be in this position. When the switch is in this position, now this lever controls the tracks, the retracting and expansion of the tracks. I've done a whole nother video on how to expand and retract the tracks on this machine. So if you look on my channel, you'll find that. Getting back to the console, we have the fuel gauge and some trouble lights, oil pressure, water temperature, battery, etc. This little yellow button on this stick here is uh, for the two speeds of the drive motor. So you use the normal drive when you're tracking and working. But when you're tracking to another location, you press this button and you go a little bit faster. It tells you how many hours that you've run the machine. Here's an electrical outlet, which I've never used. Here's the throttle, low and high. You can see there's a turtle and a rabbit here. These two levers are for tracking. So when you push both of them towards the blade, it'll track towards the blade. When you pull them back, it will go opposite of the blade. So you just have to know where your blade is in order to know which way to push these levers. The lever on the right side controls two things. It controls the stick and it controls the curl of the bucket. So when you pull the stick back, it crowds the stick in. So it brings the stick toward you. And just the opposite. When you push the lever out, it makes the stick move out. move the lever to the left it crowds the bucket or, sc or scoops the bucket in and when you move it to the right it makes the bucket dump now the lever on the left controls two movements also it controls the swing of the boom. So when you push the, the control stick to the right, the boom swings to the right. Vice versa, when you bring the stick to the left, the boom swings left. 
when you pull the stick back, the boom comes up. And when you push the stick forward, the boom comes down. Here's a, and here's the horn button. Now down here, this foot pedal, this controls auxiliary hydraulics. So in this case, I have a hydraulic thumb. So when I pull it back, it opens up. And when I push it forward, it closes the thumb. With that level, will work on anything that you put on the auxiliary hydraulic. You can put an auger or a, a jackhammer or anything like that. On this side, you have another foot lever. When you move this lever to the right, it makes the boom not swing right, but rotate right. So the carriage doesn't move, but the boom will move to the right. And vice versa, when you push it to the left, the boom will move left. The carriage will stay stationary, but just the boom moves. It comes in really handy when you're working very close to like a house and you, you need to dig something really close to the house and you want to work parallel to the house. Another feature is this little switch right here, a little lever. When you push this lever down, it locks the, the boom in place. The carriage will not move. So this has to be in the up and left position in order to operate your machine. This little lever, just like the one on the other side, swings over so you don't accidentally operate it. So this is the safe position, this is the on position. This auxiliary hydraulic foot pedal also swings up. These armrests go down to lock in place and they also lock in if you want a, a little bit tighter space to support the side of your legs. On the front of the machine here, you see a little window with a ball in it. This is the hydraulic level. So when the boom is in a certain position, when everything is closed and curled, then this little ball should be floating right in the middle of the window. You have to look at the owner's manual for that. It's pretty complicated. You have to get the boom in exactly the right place for it to be accurate. All right, well that's it for operating the Bobcat E10. That's just the basic levers and pedals that you need to know to operate it safely. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, check out my other videos on my channel. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. I like to hear uh, your questions and your comments. So hope to see you next time.